to copy the archive database that I created for my school. When you open the database in FileMaker, uh, you'll be presented with the artifact window. To get started, all you need to do is click on the new button to create a new record. You'll be able to choose from a variety of collections that are predefined, or you can simply click on the new button here to be brought to the collections window where you can add a new collection. Once you're ready to do that, you can just pop it in, uh, put in uh, the collection that you want. Uh, I have affiliation set up for our school so that you can choose what school uh, it was actually affiliated with, given the fact that we were a merger school. Uh, I can put in some information here about the description of the, uh, the item itself. Um, you can... Um, Enter some tags for this. Right now there are no tags set, but if you type in a tag, say this was from uh, Homecoming, you can set that tag. It will add it up here. The next time you need to access that tag, it will uh, appear from the list. Uh, you might be able to put in um, transcript and set that tag here. You can also define containers. So if you have multiple containers that you're going to be putting this in, you can define that here. Uh, as indicated, there are no values defined for this, so you can click on the new button here, add a new container, and call that box one. Uh, that is going to be for the documents and recording. Once you have a shelf decided upon where you're going to actually store that, you can put it here. If you have a campus or various campuses where you're going to put that in, you can uh, check that here. Once you go back to the um, the artifact view, you can then select that and build that list out as you see fit. Uh, you also have date ranges, uh, absolute start and end dates if you'd like, or you can simply put in um, date ranges. Um, the field will take uh, any, any value that you assign to it. You can also add uh, items uh, such as uh, pictures, documents, so on and so forth to it by simply uh, clicking on it, uh, selecting the item itself and clicking open and it will uh, provide a uh, small uh, preview of what that is in the window.